Hey guys, welcome back to my video. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, oh, I'm so ill, I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm so ill, I can't. I'm trying to record a video, yeah. About how comfort is the color of discomfort. Oh, I can't even think, this is my problem. Comfort is the color of... Bro, what's the quote again? I've only like kind of recovered like recently so this is my fourth day of being ill and, and now i'm a little bit better i'm trying to record because i've just been wanting to record for so long i haven't recorded my video in so long the quote is i don't know if someone's came up with it or not probably have i don't care this is what i just thought i've never heard it so it's my quote comfort is the kid of growth and it's something our generation suffers with 24 7 like if you think about it we're always surrounded by comfort when we get in our beds when we scroll on tiktok when we go on netflix after a long day of work and netflix binge on all the new series that is our biggest problem in this generation that's what i believe and i'm not saying oh get rid of comfort no one should be comfortable all the time what i'm saying is that it's one of the things holding us back and keeping us numb and i'm saying too much of it is bad for us and i'm sure there's some like biological evolutionary like side of it or, like what explains it and why we're not like made for comfort I mean, no maybe i'm pretty sure i've heard something where we're like wait we like drift towards it but like we desire comfort so we always go towards it but that's not how we grow is it yeah i'm not going to speak about the evolution of your biology side or whatever because i have no clue but what i am saying is that by staying comfortable we're staying complacent and being indoctrinated to our roles because we're not willing to go against what we want do you know what i mean we're not willing to fight for it because we're too comfortable and we're too happy in a way in our, in our lives no we're not happy we're like fulfilled like we're satisfied that's the word i was looking for we're satisfied with what we've got not allowing us to reach our full potential because we're becoming complacent at a young age we're not having that drive or ability to fight things we want because it's just numbed by all these things and the title of this video is true i have been walking around running working out and working for the last month on a broken foot you're definitely thinking oh how did you do it or you're probably lying or you're just making this up but I'm not, sadly, like, and it might make you feel bad about yourself because you're probably laying in bed all day and you're watching Netflix and eating all that junk food while I'm out here on a broken foot running around and uh, doing all this stuff that you want to do but you're not doing it and then it's making you upset that you hear a 17-year-old who's doing more than you and you're just sitting on your arse doing nothing and then it's just like, makes you feel bad about yourself, you get me? So, I mean, like, I don't blame you, like, I would have resentment towards me as well and I'm joking. But it's true, and if that actually upsets you, then you're who I'm talking to and you're the one who needs to hear this the most. The main difference between me and you is I have discipline. I've dissected it. I've, di I've literally took it apart and learned every single part of it. That's the difference. Your idea of discipline is motivation. My idea of discipline is discipline. I don't even know if that makes sense. But my definition of discipline is I don't from any barriers that stand in my way in order to grow and learn to overcome these feelings of anxiety doubt and just becoming my f true potential self like just being able to triumph anything what comes in my way keep in mind only i've had this broken foot for probably like a month and a half and only a week ago i found out that i had a broken foot because i finally went to any and sorted it all out but it just shows you no no my point is is that if I got told by these doctors, like, first thing after I got a broken foot, you I would have just done what they told me to do. They would have told me to stay at home, lay in bed, rest, don't move, minimal effort as possible, stay comfortable, keep it raised. They would have probably told me all this stuff. And I would have done it because doctor's orders, it's the right thing to do. I don't want to, like, mess up my foot. But I'm so glad I didn't, like, go to the doctor straight away because it taught me a lot of what I'm capable of. I didn't even know I had a broken foot. I just thought it was some, like, bruise or... I don't know, I like, have used the muscle, so tendonitis or something. Is that we're limited by what other people tell us where we can and can't do. And this is any area of life, like if someone tells you you can't do something, if you're a weak-minded person, you're going to believe that and not actually have a, your own ability to like, I mean, your own like self-confidence to actually take accountability for your own ability. So these people who tell us we're not able to do something are the most insecure people of all of the people. And that I'm not saying the doctors are insecure. What I'm saying is that the doctors are a metaphorical symbol for the most mediocre, insecure people who we encounter in our lives. The people who hold us back. People who tell us that we're trying too hard. It's like an excuse, really. It, it gave me an excuse to do the things I didn't want to do. I could have easily just like laid in bed all day and not done anything. 
it was like the best excuse I could have got. But I didn't use it as an excuse. I used it as motivation to see what I'm truly capable of. Ah, I don't want to get deep into this, but most people use their traumas and past experience, life experience as like bad things, as things to use as excuse for their failure. But instead of using this as a failure, I mean, as an excuse for your failure, how about you use it as fuel to motivate your success? You can make whatever you want to make out of what I've just been telling you about my store on a broken foot. Like I was, what, I just did like a 17 hour shift like the other day and I walked 45,000 steps, 45,000. Well, it's 17 hours to be fair, non-stop walking, but 45,000 steps on a broken foot as well, keep in mind. And I didn't moan once, didn't do anything. And the reason why I did a 17 hour shift because it was a Super Bowl. So I'm not lying about doing a 17 hour shift. I had to do it. Well, I didn't have to do it. I chose to, because I wanted to see how like my potential was like how much I could actually take and to me that is more fulfilling than just going home and then watching Netflix and just going on TikTok and that's our problem we're choosing comfort over discomfort and people just getting more mediocre every single day because of it now some people are fine with being mediocre some people are conscientious like me very what's the word um cerebral cerebral like me I think that's the word anyway and they can't handle the fact of being lazy and contempt and complacent. I could go on about this for hours, just bragging about how disciplined I am, because that's basically what I've been doing. I didn't mean to, but it's it's crazy to me how like some people don't understand like what discipline and like put yourself in discomfort can do for you in order to grow. Like you grow so much in discomfort. I don't understand how to explain it or show you guys, but you just have to take my word for it and do it. You need to do something once a day what makes you uncomfortable. If that's talking to a stranger, random stranger giving them a compliment or going in a cold shower for like 30 seconds or two minutes or whatever, or going to the gym, just even just going to the gym is just something that make, might make you uncomfortable, but you grow from it, you learn. Boxing, start in boxing. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to start next Sunday. Just things like this. I'll be uncomfortable at first, but I'll grow. I'll get used to it. My body will get used to it. Like, I will I will get used to it. And that's the mindset you have to go into in every other life. You need to understand that the more you do it, the more you expose yourself to these things, the more you get used to it. And my only hope is that most of you guys will actually take into account what I've been saying and do something about it. Become disciplined. Achieve what you want to achieve out of life and see what you're truly capable of doing because what is life without actually seeing your true potential most of you guys won't listen most of you guys will just scroll to the next video scroll but go to the next video and do what you normally do but the more conscientious people will actually listen to what i've been saying and do something and take action and hate what they see out of their life and do something about it